Hello. Alright, this is a short video about the other end of the controller. Pretty simple right now, as you can see. Pretty simple. These are the environmental lights. This is an RGB common cathode LED. It means you just hook up the ground. This leg right there. Um, I need a pointer. That leg right there to ground. I've got a uh, resistor that protection resistor here it's probably a good practice to always have with your LEDs there and then the A2 and A1 pins connect to the red and green legs because those are the only two I care about for this project and there's a screen one if the if it's green if this one if that green one's on right here sorry red and blue for the monitoring LED the screen one right here is on uh, it just means that it, that the room can be comfortable. It's either comfortable as it is, or it can be comfortable with heating or cooling. If it's red, it needs cooling. If it's blue, it needs heat. This LED here sh shows us if the uh, this LED here shows us if the workshop relay is on or not. It's all it all. Um, if the LED is on, the lights also have to be on in the room because the sleep function otherwise will shut down the workshop. So if I just push this button, workshop shuts down. And it also triggers another useful feature, which, which in a moment, uh, the actually, uh, the if this then that actually monitors the uh, event that the workshop controller publishes when I switch it off and switch it on. So I'm going to just switch it back on as well. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. There we go. Takes a moment because again there's those delays with the temperature measurement. But it's actually pretty responsive and there we go. If you look at my look there, if this then that just published a event. Workshop powered on. So yeah that's what this does. This ends extremely simple um, you can also use if this uh, you can also use if this then that to monitor you know emails and stuff like that and over here on the computer we've actually got a Google Sheets spreadsheet that every 10 minutes to 15 minutes every 10 minutes runs a script that records the temperature and uh, records a burst of temperature and light data so you can see because it's in the 2000s range the lights on if we look up here there's our temperature and there's our light level you can see these little gaps where for whatever reason it wasn't able to collect a temperature reading but that's just kind of that just kind of happens unfortunately with the DHT sensor so yeah uh, that's this project it's kind of kind of neat, useful, and it should save you some money on your power bill if you're like me and you keep forgetting to turn off your workshop. <laughs>